Well, we were facing a number of challenges in fostering, but we realised that actually in order to make a change, we needed to think differently. We are losing foster carers at the same rate as we are recruiting them. The support model that we have and most fostering services have are our idea of what foster carers need. In order for them to ask for support, they have to contact us and we have to complete paperwork and then we organise the support that they need. Sometimes that's just not quick enough. Before they turn to us, they might be reaching a breaking point. We have children who unfortunately move from foster placement to foster placement. The cost to the local authority increases. The idea is to allow a group of foster carers who live within a close area of each other to support each other. The process of doing the R&D meant that we had to really look at the idea. We previously would have just done it within the fostering service, within a very small team of opinions and ideas on what we thought would be the right way forward. But they really encouraged us to talk to every single stakeholder. It's made a huge difference in our confidence in it. The response from the children, the foster carers, the childcare social workers, it was also positive. They also flagged up things that we maybe hadn't thought of. So it gave us a chance to think through some of the problems we might come across before it happens. So we applied for the loan. So we will draw down a certain amount of money and implement stage one before we then draw down a second amount and implement stage two. And this is a longer term project that we will see cost savings, we will see service improvements, but we have to stick with this one idea and see it through. We have launched our first constellation. We launched in February and we have seven foster families in the first group and we have a hub carer in the middle. And just as we were launching, of course, COVID hit and we thought that that was going to change our plans but actually we have been really pleasantly surprised that the lockdown has actually brought the group together innovate to save you know it's it's something that's not in our usual comfort zone so i'm proud that we took that step 